Hi guys, let me show you how I wasted my weekend because I've added something new to the entire repository so you can play with it and build on top of it if you want. So <clears throat> I really like this asset pack which is called uh, Dungeon Architect. Well, it's a uh, code plugin. It's one of the most amazing packs on the marketplace. You only got one uh, problem that whenever you're making any change to a dungeon, it is rebuilding the entire dungeon, entire structure from the first tile to the last one. And usually the only difference is the tiles that you modified. So that's a bit wasteful when you have really big structures or when you want to add something to those structures by hand. So what I made is this um, actor that is spawning a grid. And based on that grid, you can select a node and you can select uh, adjacent um, walls as well. And you can start painting your rooms and they get an id you can change so if you have different id that means you need inner separation walls however if you change id back to one and i paint something here i will actually change the id of this node and update all the walls so you can do it like this Oh, and I can of, of course also unpaint cells. And let's do three. Yeah, and then you have actual access to the walls, the floor and everything. It's based um, on the same structure as Dungeon Architect. So what I'm doing here is I have this builder and this builder just got well, basically a few functions. So spawn grid spawns the grid cells uh, spawn wall um, it gets all the cells and for each cell it's spawning uh, walls and it's uh, it's such a big logic because it's not spawning walls um, if a wall already exists and get cell is just getting a cell of a specific uh, x and y location and that's everything for the builder but then you have the marker and the marker itself uh, let's add it here okay the market itself uh, is just a static mesh for representation of the marker uh, text that is rendering the ID and that's it but it stores a reference to its walls so it knows uh, the walls adjacent to it <coughs> and this is the creator update uh, representation marker so this is responsible for changing markers into actual floor so I'm taking from the builder so I have a builder and I have um, style elements so by gameplay tags I have floor wall and I have different types of floor that I haven't implemented yet um, I can pick those classes those are soft reference uh, to classes and then by this marker I can spawn uh, those classes into actors and the markers are actually the ones that are controlling what is being spawned what is being destroyed all of this logic so this is the marker. I also have a wall marker. This is the wall marker. It's a lot smaller than that. And um, okay, this is unused. Yeah, so that's it. Just a, a few blueprints. Here are some examples of different floors. A standard wall that has an inner and outer um, arrow. So I still got some problems with the rotation of the walls because I want always uh, the blue arrow to face uh, towards the inwards and I want to make another wall so I have separate walls for outer walls and separate walls for walls between rooms. Uh, but the spawner itself works pretty well and it's really really fast. Uh, none of those actors is actually ticking and you can uh, disable the visualization so they are not really taking any performance hit and once you click you're actually just uh, building this cell and all adjacent cells so only nine cells are being rebuilt not the entire structure so it doesn't matter how big your structure gets when you are modifying it you can modify it at runtime so um, 
in order how it works i was thinking about uh, games like um dungeon keeper for example i don't know if you remember that one i absolutely loved that game it's a very old one uh, but very good so yeah there you have it and uh, i might start working forward on this in my spare time at some point and add additional cells for like doors pillars and stuff like that so you can manage your structures more and this is for free you can just download it you can make uh, you know it could be a, a base for a builder like in the sims or any other game really or just make procedural dungeons i don't know whatever you want uh, it is for free and it doesn't use it's not uh, relying on any plugins it's all blueprints based thanks for listening and see you guys soon